Hey, Ross World, my money makes money. Don't have loyalty to any banks. Now, the four top banks in America, if you didn't know, was JP Morgan and Chase, Bank of America, Citigroup, and who? The notorious Wells Fargo. I don't have loyalty to banks. And I'm going to go over some details on my computer. I'm going to grab it really quickly. And we're going to go over why I don't have loyalty to any of these banks. We're going to do a comparison against both banks. So checking accounts, monthly fees. Okay, now a lot of banks out there do not charge you any money at all for having a checking account. Think about this. You have to pay the bank to put your money in the bank for them to invest your money, for them to make more money, and then they give you, what, cents on a dollar for interest? So, checking accounts. This is the name of the checking account for Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo Everyday Checking. Monthly fee is $10. Monthly fee is $10 for them to hold your checking account. Now, this can be waived. This $10 a month fee can be waived. And here are the stipulations behind it. You have a direct deposit of at least 500 monthly or you keep a balance of at least 1500 daily, or you make 10 debit card purchases or payments monthly, or you are a student who links up to a Wells Fargo campus ATM or debit card, okay? Now, Chase, their monthly fee is $12. Their monthly fee is $12. These are the three ways that you can waive it. You have a direct deposit of at least 500 monthly, or you keep a balance of at least 1500 daily, or you have an average daily balance of $5,000 across Chase accounts. So that's a cumulative across all your accounts. Minimum opening deposit for both of them are $25. They have no interest rates that you can actually earn money on your money while your money is sitting in your checking account, zero. Now they have ATM, uh, Wells Fargo have 13,000 ATMs worldwide. Chase has 16000 Now, if you use them internationally for Wells Fargo, the fee is $5. And also with Chase, it's $5 plus 3% for using international ATMs, just period. Now, some of them have sign-up bonuses, but believe me, they're going to kill you in fees, so it doesn't even matter anyway. Don't even worry about it. Here we go. Wells Fargo way to save savings account. So we're moving to savings accounts. Now, if you're trying to save money, you would think that they don't have charges. They don't have fees. They do. I want you to really, really, you don't have to know math, but we always go back to that what? 0.01 .01 interest on our money. We know that it's absolutely nothing. Wells Fargo charges you $5 a month, $5 a month in order for you to save your money. Now, they do have ways for you to waive it. You have a balance of at least $300 or, you, or you're or set up reoccurring transfer from a Wells Fargo checking account. So meaning you're transferring money from your Wells Fargo checking account into your savings or you are under the age of 18 or 19 in Alabama. They must have some sort of deal. I don't know. Chase. Chase charges you $5 as well. They charge you for saving your money. Ponder on that for a second. I'm saving money. What if I don't make that much? With Wars Fargo, I need to have at least 300 or they're going to charge me $5 a month. Chase, here are the four ways that you can waive the fee. You have a balance of at least 300 daily, same as Wells Fargo, or you set up an automatic transfer of at least $25 per month from Chase checking account, or you're under the age of 18, or you link up the account with a high-end Chase checking account, such as Chase Premier Plus Checking. Now, I really want you guys to think about this, ponder on it, really scrutinize that they're charging you money for one, holding your money in a checking account, and for two, they're charging you for saving their money. We're not done. We're not done. The minimum deposit for open these accounts are 25 for both Wells Fargo and Chase. Now the interest rates. You know we love interest because my money makes money. And this is definitely where you don't want to put your money yet. Not at all. The interest rate for both of them, 
The interest rate for both of them are 0.01. I wonder where I got that number from. 0.01. That is the interest rate. Let, let's move right along. Let's not make this a long drawn out thing because I'm, I'm real passionate, but this is really stupid. Bank of America and Citibank. Bank of America and Citibank. Checking accounts. Monthly fee for Bank of America, $12. $12 to hold your money. It can be waived. You have to have a direct deposit of $250 or more at least once a month, or you keep a balance of at least $1,500, or you are a student under 24. City, Citibank, $12. That's how much they're charging you. Once again, $12. These are the options that will have your account of that $12. You have one direct deposit and one bill payment each month or you keep a balance of $1,500, or you're 62 or older. So if you're elderly, you're a senior, it can be waived. What about everybody else? The minimum deposit that you have to have, the minimum deposit for opening for Bank of America is $25, and for Citibank is $0. The ATM networks, Bank of America has 16,000. Chase has 65,000 ATMs. So that's a big plus. ATM fees when you're dealing outside of their network. Bank of America, $2.50. Citigroup, $2.50. And they both have some weak ass sign up bonuses, please. Now the savings account where we save our money for it to accumulate interest and for us to have a little nest egg of money. Monthly fee, Bank of America, $5. $5 once again to save your money, but it can be waived if you keep a daily balance of at least 300. Citibank, $4.50 a month, but waived if you keep at least $500 in your account. The fee is waived regardless of how much money you have in both accounts, so it's accumulative. Now, the big percentages we want on our money that's gonna help us save money as the bank invests our money, they're gonna give us money back. Bank of America, 0.01% and Citibank, 0.01% and rates may vary by state. Minimum opening deposit for both. Bank of America, $25. Citibank, $100. Listen guys, this is absolutely ridiculous. Those are the four top banks in America and I'm pretty sure the filthy rich the upper class and maybe the upper middle class have their money in there. But some of you may not have the ends, the funds, the cheddar, the cheese, the moolah, the shrilla, the revenue, the yield. You may not have none of those things to have accounts just like that. You would think that the top four popular banks in America, that they would have better interest rates, they would have low fees. They don't. They don't. And I'm still have my money in dollar savings direct, that interest rate of 1.40%, and also live Oak Bank have 1.45, 1.40. It's still above 1.40 interest on your money. So don't get into what everybody else is doing. You have a Bank of America account, you may wanna move your money because if you go through a hard time, and I don't know how much money you make because I'm pretty sure some of you make upwards of 100 K plus and some of you of uh, 30K less. So if that is the case and you know your finance is better than I do, get your money out of these high yield, ripping you off day by day by day. They're charging you $5, most of them, to have a savings account a month if you don't have a particular criteria. Maybe you took all your money out because you had a deaf in the family or you had an emergency. I don't know. Then most of them you're charging you over $10 to have a certain amount in your checking account. These are things to think about. Banks and financial institutions, most of them, in my opinion, most of them are crooks. They want your money to use your money. And this is another thing, and I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. They take your money and they invest it in the stock market and that's why they have billions and billions of dollars. And as they're using your money, 
they give you 0.01% back, but they actually making anywhere from, you know, 15 or 25% on your money. Are you serious? Then they're going to charge you when you don't have enough money in your account. Like you don't have enough money. Think about that. This is Ross World. Don't get bamboozled. Don't get fooled. Okay. Don't be run amok on these fees and these banks. If you have your money in those banks, get out of it and move it to someone and somewhere who appreciate your money. I'm out.